attention to me, attention to the kids, and attention to law that you're passionate about. Full of holograms, Twitter rants, and tons of drama, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West's marriage has been a wild ride for seven years now. But it seems like their marriage is coming to an end. So let me tell you the real reasons why Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are getting a divorce. The unhappy couple. The Yeezy King and his Kardashian queen have finally decided to go their own ways. You might not be aware of this, but both Kardashian and West have reportedly been unhappy with each other for quite some time now. But it's difficult to believe, isn't it? They literally used to be a power couple and have even built a cute family together. But it looks like a cute family isn't all you need to save a marriage. Did you know that both Kanye and Kim haven't really been speaking to each other for months now? That's right. They haven't even been living together and barely see each other. The only time they do meet is when they have business trips or meetings with their lawyers. TMZ was the first to break the news of the split to the world. As you might have expected, people all around the world had extremely strong reactions to this news. Maybe this was because the whole world was invested in the couple because of their public persona and the Kardashian family show keeping up with the Kardashians. This could also be because Kanye and Kim were really one of the world's favorite couples. They both were extremely passionate about each other and have also supported each other through quite a lot. But all good things must come to an end, I guess. And sources close to the couple have even reported that their split was imminent and eventually had to materialize. Kim has already retained the services of well-known Hollywood divorce lawyer Laura Wasser, and Kanye has lawyered up too. But even though the couple seems super unhappy, a messy divorce is unlikely because the couple wants things to be smooth for their children. Their history if you follow the Kardashians closely, you probably know all about how Kanye and Kim first met. The two became friends after meeting each other in 2003. This was when Kim was an assistant to the pop star actor Brandy, and Kanye was about to record one of his first songs. You might not know this, but Brandy is the sister of Ray J, who's the guy from Kim's R-rated video that got leaked and shot her to fame. As years passed, both Kim and Kanye became fond of each other and publicly announced their relationship in 2012. This was also the time Kim was finalizing her divorce with Chris Humphreys, who she literally married for just a couple of months. In 2013, Kim got pregnant with her first baby with Kanye. Their daughter North was born in June 2013 as Kim sorted and finalized her divorce proceedings. In May 2014, the couple finally tied the knot in an over-the-top Tuscan wedding. And right before the wedding, Kanye rented out the San Francisco Giants Oceanfront Stadium and presented Kim with a 15-carat Lorraine Schwartz sparkler. And their wedding was even more glamorous. The couple had a wall of flowers as a backdrop, a seven-tier cake, and a 224-foot marble table that actually had to be hoisted in by a crane. After this, the couple had a relatively happy marriage. Kanye was very clearly in love with his wife. He showered her with jewels, a hand-painted Birkin bag, and tons of other expensive gifts. He even arranged for a hologram of her late father Rob Kardashian as a gift for her during her 40th birthday bash, which took place on an island last October. So it's pretty clear that these two used to be a power couple who were madly in love with each other. So what went wrong? What exactly went wrong with the two? Well, the answer to that isn't quite as simple as you might think. But let's start with Kanye's mental health and his social media spats since that was one of the main reasons that this couple grew distant. It's pretty clear that social media doesn't always go well for Kanye. He has ranted a lot and also used it to announce his presidential bid last year. It's safe to say that he faced a lot of ridicule for his political opinions and his bizarre support for Trump and his racist administration. Kanye even went on to say a couple of racist things himself, which earned him a bad reputation among the black community around the globe. You might already know of this, but Kanye even wore a MAGA hat and went to meet Trump, dropping expletives during the whole meeting, which even left Trump shocked. But after he publicly called 400 years of slavery a choice, Kim knew that she had to jump in before her husband ruined things for their family. She smartly took to social media and repeatedly apologized for his actions. Not just this, she even clarified that he did not mean to hurt anyone's sentiments and that he was suffering from a mental illness himself. Kim stated that her husband was going through the painful loss of his mother and was also suffering from a bipolar disorder. After this, she even urged people to be more understanding of his situation and to be kinder to him. And even though some people understood, most people were not sympathetic of his condition and the Kardashian name was dragged through the mud on social media. This definitely must have been a super stressful time for Kim, who just wanted a normal, stable life with her husband. And having to constantly speak up for her husband and clean up the messes he made online really took a toll on her mental health. So after a while, Kim stopped responding to issues related to him. 
Maybe this was the time she finally decided to distance herself from the drama that he was creating. Another major problem in the couple's life was Kanye's born-again status. This took place in 2019 when he had a spiritual reset and released his studio album Jesus is King. Kanye suddenly became very religious and started speaking out against hot topics like abortion. He also mentioned how he wanted his first child North to be aborted, but his wife wanted to keep her, and so she was born. His admission of guilt did not sit too well with Kim, and even though she supported her husband, she wasn't comfortable with him oversharing about their personal life. This is also the time when he started publicly mentioning instances when he resented his own wife. You might find this hard to believe, but Kanye once publicly announced that he wanted to divorce Kim. And even though he apologized to her later, the damage was probably already done. It must have been super traumatic hearing your own husband tell the world he wants to leave you without really telling you anything first. But Kim forgave him for that too, because she wanted her family to stay happy and intact. But living with Kanye had started getting stressful for Kim and the cracks in their marriage had already started to develop. So she started taking space away from her husband so that she could stay away from the drama that he created for her. Even when he announced that he wanted to become president, she didn't really comment on his claim and chose to stay tight-lipped about everything that was happening in the family. Maybe that's when she realized that she wanted a divorce from him. The family they share. But even though Kim and Kanye have valid reasons to file for divorce, their fans have been devastated by the news. Fans have taken to social media to protest the divorce and are urging the couple to work things out. But there are other fans who also realize that the couple aren't happy with each other anymore, so divorce really is the best course of action for them. Be that as it may, the pair do share a lovely family together that might be impacted if the divorce gets messy. Kim and Kanye have four children which include two daughters, North and Chicago, and two sons, Saint and Psalm. Their youngest child, Psalm, is almost two years old, so he doesn't really know what the family is going through. But it seems like the other children are unaffected as well. Their parents are being super respectful of each other right now. They're giving each other space and are avoiding all kinds of fights or online drama. This obviously has a good impact on the kids because it's created a safe space for them. And even though they're currently living with their mom, they'll always have their dad with them as well. So the family isn't really torn apart as some people might tend to think. Even though Kim and Kanye are getting a divorce, their relationship with their kids won't be affected so much because of how close the pair are even during their divorce proceedings. It's clear that the two respect each other and want to do what's best for the family. So what do you think? Do you think these are the only reasons why the couple broke up? Can they reconcile and save their seven-year-long marriage? Or is it really over for them? Let me know in the comments down below and be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel. See you next time.